What you got there, young lady? I've got my 1950s musical, Jolly Chimp. Tell me, I just found your first cousin. I decided to come to the pawn shop today to sell my 1950s musical, Jolly Chimp. The grandchildren are scared to death of it. They run away from it, so we just decided we wanted to sell it. I'm hoping to sell the monkey today for $100. But I guess I'll take 75 if he offers it to me. So where'd you acquire this, young lady? It was a toy that my husband bought years ago. I know a lot about these toys from this era. They're all out of the 50s. There's a lot of engineering went into making this toy. Now it's all electronics. This Chimp toy is a classic. Back in the 50s and 60s, a lot of companies made them. The best ones were made in Japan. They were built right, for a lot of them still work. Not like toys now that break within two weeks. Does it still work? Oh yeah, it works really good. Come God, I got a damn mind grain. Man, if that ain't art imitating life. And I'm using the word art loosely. But collectors love these things, and it's in perfect condition. It's in the original box, and I definitely want to buy it, as long as I can keep it away from Chumley. So what do you want to do with this young lady? You want to sell it, pawn it? I want to sell it. How much money are you trying to get for the chip? I'd like to get about $100. Well... I'll be honest with you, young lady. Yeah, I have no problems whatsoever paying $100 for this. I don't want to take advantage of you. If you wanted it, I'd go up to $100.50. Oh, you, you'll go up? Wow. I think I can get $300 for it. I don't feel comfortable paying you $100 for something that I'm going to make that much out of. If you want to sell it, that's what I can pay. That's it's great. It's kind of a neat toy. It's great. Tell me, go write it up. And if I catch you playing with it, you're dead. I was expecting him to go like, well, you know, go 75 or whatever. But to say he was going to give me more money, that was a shock.